Charlie Cushane here in the truck camper again to do another truck camper mod. This time we're going to install a paper towel holder. Now we had in the past this plastic thing, which was always hard to get lined up with the paper towel holder, paper towel roll, and it was mounted under here. It was a good place for it, but it was really difficult to get it lined up and use. So we're getting rid of that and we're going to install today this Kammerstein stainless steel paper towel holder. And this one has a ratchet that prevents unrolling as you're driving. And it's really easy to put the paper towel holder on. See how it's easy? I want to put this right here on the wall, which poses a few extra challenges because this is the side of my slide and has hollow spots. So let's start looking at what we need to do to get it installed. Okay, the first thing I want to do is find out where I want it. Farther back, oh well, if I go too far back, I can't get the screws in. So I'm going to do about there. And I'm going to put a little mark. Okay. Now, I want to space this down about an inch and a half. I got a piece of 2 by 6 Now, I'm going to use this as a straight edge and space it off of this cabinet so I know I have a straight line. There we go. So now I know the holes. Go right on that line, it'll be nice and straight and parallel. As many of you know in an RV, these are hollow walls. And I don't know if it's a three quarter inch or one inch gap. So I'm gonna draw, drill a very small hole so I can measure how deep it is. Because I'm gonna, I don't wanna just put a little screw into this. It wouldn't be strong enough, so I'm gonna have to get some kind of anchor. So I gotta know how deep this is. So let's drill a couple holes and check. Okay, let's get my drill, put it in. It looks like it's over an inch and a half. So we need an anchor that'll fit in that. Let me show you what I got. Okay, to hold the paper towel holder to the wall, um, I don't want to just put screws in because the wall's only eighth inch thick. Uh, and what I found out, because I'm doing it on the outside of my slide room, it's also insulated in there. So, um, I wanted to, I went originally and bought some of these type of anchors, as you see. These are the, they're sort of, like, I call them like a butterfly, they pop open. You can't use these in that kind of wall because of the insulation, it can't pop open. So instead, I bought this kind of a hollow wall anchor but they're specific for the thickness of the wall. Most of them are for like sheetrock. I was able to find what they call extra short. They're only an inch long and my wall's just over an inch. And the way it works is you just tighten the screw and it will make this expand. Now, what I also bought was this tool place this in, you, you, you adjust the screw to the right length, like that, and then you put it in. But first, of course, you've got to drill a hole, and I have this piece of masonite. So this is an eighth of an inch stick, which is the same as the wall. So I'm going to drill a 5 16 hole in it. Side. Let's uh, try this. There we go. Right in there hard and then I can take the screw out and mount my item. So that's nice and solid and secure. Okay, in addition to these expandable wall anchors, um, this 
paper towel holder is all held from one end. Now I'm afraid going down the road with bump and vibration, this may start to move. So what I'm going to put on additionally is this 3M heavy duty extreme tape. I'm gonna put it on the back and stick it to the wall and then have the anchors hold it tight and that will hold it very secure so it can't vibrate. Erase this line. <laughs> Don't need it anymore. And got an anchor in there. Now I put it in. There's one anchor in. Take the screw out. There we go. Take this screw out. There we go. Take our tape and I cut little holes for these things. It's not very tall, but just in case. There we go. Put these screws through. That's nice. All right. And of course, we have to do a, a test. Here we go. Perfect. Another successful install. Remember to like and subscribe to keep updated on future videos.